Hi friends, so it has been a while since I have done an unboxing video and as you probably know already from reading the title, this is one. Um, so I hope you're all well. Today I am really excited because I am going to be unboxing a mystery subscription crate that I have never had before and it has, oh, I'm going to be honest, it's been here about, I would say, maybe two weeks. Um, the thing is, because of everything that's been going on um, with Sister Act and uh, gigs and what have you and other vlogs that I've been doing and editing, um, I haven't had a chance to unbox this yet. And of course, you know me, I like to unbox things on camera with you guys. So, I have got this really exciting crate and it is big guys, it's big and I'm not going to lie, it's heavy. Okay, so this is what I've got. This is the, I'm not tipping it up, you can hear it, I'm scared. This is the Magical Suitcase Box. So I haven't looked um, on YouTube at all for any other unboxing videos for this because as you guys know, I like to be surprised at what I get. So I don't know, I'm guessing by now there are probably some other unboxing videos um, out already, but I've not seen them. So this is all new for me. Um, my usual thing, dive in, see what I get, not look until I've got it out of the box. So it's been sitting here for two weeks. I'm super excited. It's massive. It weighs a ton. <laughs> Let's just get into it, I think, guys. So this is exciting. I'm going to be honest. I can't remember how much this cost. I ordered it quite some time ago. Uh, so I literally have no idea what to expect. I don't know if there's licensed stuff in here. I don't know if it's handmade, uh, smaller company stuff um, or just kind of a nod to the magical world. I'm looking at the sticker on it and it does appear to have uh, Dobby on it. So I don't know if that's being naughty or if that is um, allowed or it would suggest that there's licensed stuff in here, but we shall see. Um, it's got a lovely owl on it as well, which I like. Um, right, so without further ado, let's get into it. It is big and it is heavy. And oh, there's sellotape on it. Hang on then. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of that. As I say, this has been sitting here for two weeks, taunting me. Okay, don't look, Sam, don't look. Okay, so first of all, we have got what's in it, so we leave that. Oh, don't look at that yet. Oh, another bit of card. What's this? I don't know what this is, but it's got red ink on the bottom of it. Um, I don't know if that's meant to be there. It does actually look like something's spilled. I've just glanced, actually, at the lid of the box, and whatever this red is, is also on the lid of the box. So I've got a horrible feeling that something in here has broken or wasn't secured properly. We'll keep going. But anyway, what we've got here, we have a crossword for us to do with a cup of tea and a bar of chocolate. That is how I would do a crossword. Other ways of doing crosswords are available. Um, well, it's not actually a crossword. It's one of those like um, quiz word things where you do them across and then it spells something out. So there you go. That is what we have got first, so that's fine. And we have another card. Um, we have a word search, and this has also got some red along the bottom of it, but it's a word search. Oh, and all over the back of it. Okay, cool. What is this? Um, whatever this is has got red on it, and all over the front. It <laughs> looks like a murder scene. This box is starting to look like a murder scene, okay. Ooh, no, no, actually, like, I like this. I like this. This is a recipe. Oh, no, I love baking. I'm not a great fan of cooking, but baking? I always, like, see baking as kind of like, um, well, it is, it's like, uh, it's like making a, a magical potion. It's like everything has to be weighed out exactly. It's like, you know, when you're cooking something like a bolognese or a pasta, or like, you know, sauce, and you can just literally throw everything in. I love baking because it's so precise. And if you get it slightly wrong, you can ruin your baking. And I actually really like that. I like to imagine I'm like in George's Marvelous Medicine or something. Uh, so this is really cool. This is for butterbeer cupcakes. 
and with the strange red mark on it ignore that um but this looks really cool so flour sugar baking powder vanilla <laughs> a handful of chopped ants <laughs> it says fudges are delicious too so like little bits of fudge might be really nice um yeah so that, that that sounds really really nice i will actually keep that because that's really cute okay i can see i don't know what anything is but i have lost glance down and i can see red splatter on packaging in here which is gonna be a real shame if whatever that is has damaged or ruined anything in here so i don't know what that is um let's just um i, I want to get to whatever that was first off um so there's things wrapped up that i'm looking at i don't know what they are but they are wrapped wrapped up okay i think this might be what it is so oh god guys there's glass in here there's broken glass in here um now as i said to you i got this about two weeks ago when it arrived i literally put it on a shelf and I have not moved it since it arrived. This has obviously been damaged in transit, which I, I've got to be honest, I've not, again, I can literally see what's on the top here, but I don't know what it is yet. I've not got it out yet, but um, I can see there's glass in the bottom of the box. Um, and I'd be inclined to say that it's not actually been packaged very well. There's no padding in this box at all. Uh, everything is loose in here. Uh, there's no like bubble wrap. There's none of that, um, you know, like the stuff you get in some of the other um, mystery boxes that's like a paper, kind of like a sort of a corrugated paper. Um, there's none of that. All these things, there's things with paper wrapped around them. But there's literally no padding so um, I'm gonna keep going but I'm yeah I'm not very impressed with this at all this would be extremely bad if you'd bought this for a child uh, okay right let's let's keep going let's keep going we can probably work out what it is I think this is what's leaked okay this may well be can you hear that I can hear the glass okay I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my table in front of me so apologies guys you're not gonna see me oh my god okay right I, yeah I'm not opening this any further but I will try and show you what I've got in here whatever was in this jar it looks like there, there was a little, um, there's a little piece of paper that was tied around it, which says love potion on it. So I'm assuming this was a glass jar of a red, well, clearly a red liquid. Um, and this is what I've got. I'm going to try and show you. So sorry, guys, if this is not very clear, but I'm really not. Oh, God. OK, shards of glass are falling out. Bear in mind, I have a child. So apologies if you can't see this very well but I make no apology because I'm not getting this out. This is what I've got. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to try and tilt it up and over the table. Can you see that? It is literally in shreds. It's shards of glass. Um, it's, it's basically completely smashed. Um, yeah, that's just going to go on this table and get disposed of safely pretty much straight away I stopped filming. Um, the unfortunate thing is it's not all contained in that paper. We've also got bits that are loose in the box. Uh, yeah, we've got we've got little, little tiny, tiny bits as well. Um, I'm just gonna leave them in the box and when I dispose of the box, I'll just put that back in it so nobody gets cut or hurt when it's um, in the bin. We will keep going, but that's really disappointing and dangerous um advice to the people that produce this box i'm sure some of the things in here are beautiful and amazing but you might want to think about actually packaging them because paper is not going to stop something smashing and it's clearly been rattling about in here so it's it's clearly happened in transit so anyway let's keep going that's a real shame anyway okay let's just keep going let's keep going 
This is this is really pretty actually. Okay, so this is a Bellatrix Lestrange's dagger, which is actually a really nice thing. It's really pretty. And it has Dobby's last words on it, which is, I don't know if that's in <laughs> slightly bad taste, but um, you know, right, his last words on the weapon that killed him. Um, such a beautiful place to be with friends. Dobby is happy to be with his friend, Harry Potter. So it's a really nice thing. I really like it. It's a very pretty thing. And I like, um, it sounds really strange. I like swords. I like the aesthetic. Um, I don't have any lying around the house, but um, uh, yeah, yes, my, my ex is a swordsman. So very much like swords. Um, so I re that's, a, that's a pretty thing. And it has got obviously the dark mark on it. It's lovely. Um, that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. Next. <laughs> okay, uh, this is broken as well. As it, uh, yeah, there's two bits of it that are actually broken, um, and it does have some of the red liquid on it as well. So, um, uh, yeah, a lot of the red liquid actually. Some of it, most, the majority of it is on the back. It's a cute idea. Um, it's a thing for your socks. You know, you end up get always end up getting a sock. It's like, where's its brother? But who knows? The washing machine eats the sock. This um, is a board. Free house elves sock giveaway, <laughs> which is really cute. And I have seen similar things before, but it's lovely. It's been beautifully made. The problem is that two of the little mini uh, clothes pegs are broken. As it happens, I happen to have some of those laying about because that's the sort of house I have. Um, but, so I could replace them if I wanted. Um, but unfortunately it does have the red and the red. This has been beautifully carved. It's a very lovely thing. It's a good quality thing. It's just a shame about this and a shame about that and what's on the front as well. Moving on. Okay. We have a brown paper letter with a little owl sticker on it. If you can see, that's really cute. I like that. Um, let's have a look at this. Well, I'd like to, but I'm having problems getting into th th this string. I'm in. I'm not in. Now I'm in. Okay, cool. Oh, it's just a, it's just a piece of artwork. That's nice. Hogwarts house elves. And uh, it's got, so it's a piece of artwork, which is really nice. And this has escaped the red liquid. Uh, the packaging hasn't, but because it was wrapped up, this has escaped it, so that's good. Nice, let's keep going. There's a, I'll tell you what else is in here. <laughs> there's a lot of feathers. Now, it's a shame there's not much more feathers because they might have softened the blow for that glass thing, but. Um, what have we got here? We have got, this is covered in red liquid. Um, it's the description of gillyweed. Um, it is really covered in this red liquid, look. It's everywhere, it's the back of it, that's the front. And I'm actually really disappointed about that because I love this, um, it's, it's been finished, or the paper they've used, is it's like parchment. Um, and I love that look. I love that look for, 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 for artwork and, um, for, you know, stationery and stuff. So had it not been covered in red ink or whatever was in that jar, um, I would have framed that. I mean, I suppose I could, I could still frame it. I mean, it just looks like it's been, you know, through the wars at Hogwarts, I guess. Um, you know, so I suppose no one will probably question what the red was. You know, if I framed it and put it on my wall, no one is going to look at that and go, oh, what's all this red? They'll just assume it's part of the, the picture. But it shouldn't be there. So, you know. But I, I like this. This is really nice. And it's a really nice looking thing. And I think the glass has actually got at it, though, because I don't know if you can... Excuse my terrible nails, by the way. I'm really scratchy at the moment. It has actually ended up with a little puncture in it. It's just such a shame. So I think the glass must have got it at some point, but it's it's a nice thing. Okay, um, what's this? What is what is this? It's covered in feather. What 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 is? Sorry, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. 
Okay. Now oh, this is really cute. This is really cute. I like these things that have clearly been handmade. Um, and they have obviously taken a while. Can I just, can I, can I, that is meant to open. This is a money box, um, which is cute. Um, and actually, I pro I'll probably use it because I've always got, you know, loose change and I like to sort of just throw it in a money box. Um, and it, I like it because it's got the glass front. It's got the niffler on the top of it, which is really cute. Um, it has the little slot there. You can put your money in. And when you want to take your money out, the niffler, the back opens so you can get your money out um it is really cute actually and there's obviously been some work gone into that um so that that's really lovely it hasn't escaped the red ink of course of course it hasn't but the majority of it is on the back and the bottom mm, it's a bit on the side but you know you can it's fine and in fact it's that untreated wood. So you could paint that if you want it or stain it and it would be really cute. Might actually be nice to paint it black so it matches the niffler. That's kind of cute. So that's really nice and I probably will use that. So that's fine. Uh, what is this? <laughs> this is cute actually. This is really cute. And again, obviously been handmade, which I absolutely appreciate. Um, it is a little lion. And it's obviously meant to be either the Gryffindor lion or I, I've got a feeling it reminds me much more of Luna's hat um and it's a key ring which you know to be honest is really cute it's really cute and obviously like i say there's been work gone into it it's been crocheted or knitted um and yeah it's like a little pom-pom lion head which is really cute we've got a couple more things in here i'm just being so careful not to go anywhere near this glass there is loose glass in here guys so i'm really sorry if i'm not so enthused about this particular box i'm just really disappointed um i can't remember how much this cost me and i wish i could because i would uh love to know i'll tell you what i'll do i will research that and i will put the price here um but no matter even if it was a very cheap box there's no excuse for not packaging stuff properly and ending up with smashed glass all inside the box anyway let's keep going um oh this is a paper bag covered in red paint, red ink, whatever. And it says cream caramels, property of Winky. And it, again, it has the little owl. I'm guessing the little owl is a magical suitcase logo, which is why it corrupts up. But let's, let's open this up, a little paper bag. I'm always up for a little paper bag. I like them, it's very nice. Um, let's get past this string. I could just rip the bag, couldn't I? Why am I so weak? Honestly, I can't even rip a paper bag. I did it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Right, okay. Oh, it is sweeties. It's actually sweeties. Um, and they look like little butter mints. They might not be minty, but they look like those little butter mints you get or Werther's Originals, if you have them, where you are. Uh, little butterscotch uh, sweeties, uh, which is really nice, actually, because I happen to like those. And they are wrapped in plastic, so they've not been affected by the red spillage. And there's a lot in there. There is a lot in there, guys. Look. <laughs> I'm going to have them after. <laughs> Cheer me up after this. Okay, we have another glass thing this again is wrapped i'm really hoping this is not i'm so paranoid about glass i'm so sorry guys i just i've got a child you know what i mean and they're they are here at the moment they're in their room being a teenager um let's open this i'm going to open it over the box in case any glasses um oh oh hello what on earth is this Okay, um, this is a jar of something brown. This says, this is a big jar, Ho Hokies Sugar Peeling. Should I know what that is? Now, I think this box came from overseas. But I might be wrong about that, and I apologise if this is a UK-based company. But I've got a feeling this might have come from um, mainland Europe. So maybe this is something that they're familiar with, or maybe it's just something they've made up. Um, Hokey Sugar Peeling. It has a skull and crossbones sticker on the front, which is um, reassuring. Uh, and this 
I'm going to open because I want to know what this is. It opened. What, what is this? Okay, um, that's what it looks like. I hope it's okay. It's like got kind of white on the top. See that? Um, it smells like chocolate. Is it meant to look like this? I'm actually a bit scared. Is it granulated? Should it be? Someone want to comment below and tell me if it's meant to. Please do tell me if I'm just being really stupid because this is not something I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it's like granulated chocolate. Um, I am ignorant of this, so please comment below and tell me it what this is. If it's meant to look like that. <laughs> And I am going to try, and I don't even know if it's edible. Oh my God, I was just about to eat it, but what if it's not edible? What if it's like a bath salt? Okay, look, I'm going to... It, it is, it's like granulated chocolate. Um, chocolate, it's like sugar. Um, sugar peeling, hokey sugar peeling. Yeah. Shall I taste it? What if it's bath salts? Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, it tastes nice. It tastes like, it tastes like hot chocolate because essentially it's sweet uh, chocolate. So it tastes like hot chocolate. Um, maybe I'm not meant to eat it. Maybe that's why there's a skull and crossbones. Can someone, well, obviously, when we get to the end of the video, I'm going to, I can't get the lid back on. It doesn't want to go away. There's a lot of it in there. I, I don't know what it is, and I've got it all over me. Um, when we get to the end of the video, obviously, we will look at that list they've sent through, and hopefully, it will give us a clue as to what it is. Maybe it is something you mix in your, do you know what? If someone created something that was chocolate and sugar, that you could use as a coffee sweetener to turn your coffee into a mocha. That's an amazing idea. If that's what that is, I'm going to be extremely happy. I really hope that's what it is. It's got a skull and crossbones on it though. Do you think I'm going to die? Because I ate some of that. Oh God. Let's find out at the end. Okay, I'm going to put the list over here so it's ready to look at. Okay, now this is a licensed product, I do believe. Um, and it is a jigsaw puzzle. Which, do you know what? I'm not even mad about, cause I like a jigsaw puzzle, <laughs> I do. This is a Fantastic Beasts jigsaw puzzle, which is really nice. Um, I will probably do it as well when I get an evening where I'm not actually doing anything, which doesn't happen very often, but um, I will probably do it because I like me a jigsaw puzzle. It's nice. Yeah, it's cute. It's got the four guys on it. Yeah, all right. That's fair enough. And obviously I think that is a licensed product because it's a Ravensburger puzzle and I'm sure that they've got the licensing to do that. So yeah, that's it. Um, what is this? What, what is what is this? this I'm sorry guys, the glass, the glass. I think this label must have been on something. Ah, it says crochet at Zoo Woo by crochet painter, at crochet painter. So it's possible that might have been on there, I'm guessing because this does look like crochet, at crochet painter. So I don't know, um, go, and, go and have a look guys and see uh, what sort of stuff they do. I think there's only one thing left in here and a lot of glass and this is covered in the red stuff which is a shame because this would be perfect for my home <laughs> um don't blame us for the mess it's a house of free elves this is really cute and it's so nicely made and it's covered in red ink <sighs> it's such a shame well I mean like I say I could paint this up I could paint the background 
you know, red to, to cover the red and then the letters in black or the background in black and the letters in red or something similar just to cover the the red ink spillage. And I'm really disappointed about it as well because as you guys know that have watched my previous videos, um, I love the glasses of like the little jars and vials and things of uh, potions and I have a potions shelf and it's got like gillyweed and, and amortentia and all those little jars of things on it that I've got in previous boxes. So that love potion probably was a really lovely thing that I would have really liked. Um, oh well. And I've got to be honest, I mean, yes, in transit, things can get broken. But if you're going to sell stuff and you're going to post it out, you really, really need to do your best at the point of packaging to try and ensure that the, the contents have the best possible chance of getting there in one piece. Um, especially if you've got glass in there. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, the box is... is pretty much oh god it's there's there's like chunks and wedges of it and yeah it's everywhere it's it's everywhere i've got a feeling you know now i look at these feathers that they were probably on the top of that jar um so i mean there were some lovely things in here um it's just a real shame that i can't honestly say that i would buy from them again because I don't want to risk stuff turning up broken um, when it's not been packaged properly. Um, if it had been packaged really well, right, okay, absolutely honest, if it had been packaged really well um, and it was it turned up broken, I'd have absolutely blamed the shipper, uh, the, the shipping company, the, the, the courier. But this, I don't think this had a chance. Um, it, there was no, there's literally no padding in between anything in this box, um, and you saw the size of the box. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty big. Everything's rattling about in here, and it just got smashed. <sighs> Let's have a look at this list anyway, and see what we've got. So. This is the, right, I'll read this, uh, Magical Suitcase. Uh, you're holding our third magical box in your hands. Its theme is House Elves. There we go, of course it is. I know it's that, shouldn't I? And Fantastic Beasts. Uh, join us in spew and help in fighting enslavement. Um, so yeah, blah, blah, blah. See, it says here, in order to support the aesthetic stance of our smaller friends, We've emphasised ecological minimum, so our um, ecological measures, beg your pardon. Plain wood, no unnecessary fillers and usage of plastic kept at minimum. That will be why there's no packaging in here. But as we have already seen from other magical crates um, and subscription boxes, there are eco-friendly fillers there are eco-friendly packaging lots of these use um that uh corrugated paper uh shredded paper filling that can all be recycled and i think on a lot of cases is already recycled um, and can be re-recycled there are environmentally friendly options that could have been used in this box and it doesn't have to be plastic um and I know that for a fact, a lot of the boxes, and as you know as well, and you've watched them, um, that they pad them with that paper, but they're anything glass, like a candles or anything that they send, they're all wrapped in it as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, I can kind of see what they were trying to do, but they couldn't have it. They, how could they expect this to get to me in one piece? You know, um, I'm just glad I didn't, <laughs> Can you imagine if I dived in and slashed my finger open? I think that should have been a very short video. Um, okay. So there, this is a series of boxes. They're saying that the next uh, theme uh, is professors. Um, so in here we've got the sock hanger, which is broken. Um, and there's also no way to hang it up. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, there's actually no string, no holes and no hook on the back of it to hang it up. So, yeah. Um, Creature and Winky Hogwarts Print, Bellatrix Dagger Bookmark. 
I ate it. It's not for eating. It tasted good though, man. I think it's all natural ingredients because it tasted... <laughs> it tasted really good. <laughs> it's not for eating. <laughs> it's body scrub. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Don't eat this, okay? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <sighs> right, okay, okay. Um, I just so tucked into that, jeez. Right, <laughs> butterbeer caramels, those are for eating. <laughs> okay, don't scrub your body with them, that would be sticky. Um, a set of magical puzzles. Uh, check your knowledge that was the word search and what have you uh cupcake recipe which i do like actually that's really nice I, and i will be making those because they look pretty yummy uh the niffler money box um ashwinder eggs elixir that's what broke um the zuwu pendant yeah so that's the the little lion uh, Gillyweed book page, which I really like, um, and I probably will keep and display, even though it's covered in the red stuff. Um, and Fantastic Beast Jigsaw. So yeah, whatever it was, it was Ashwinder Eggs Elixir. Uh, be careful, careless usage may result in arson. Or laceration. So that's obviously what that was. Um, as I say, it's got this little... I'm trying to get this little, I think it's actually glued. I was trying to get the little um, paper scroll out, but it, all I can see is that it says love potion on it. It does have things written on it, but I think it's glued to the, I think it's managed to stick itself to the, to the paper because of the red stuff. <sighs> right, well, I guess I just, um, yeah. I don't really know what to say, guys. Um, disappointing, actually. Because there is some really cute stuff in here and um yeah some stuff i really liked but i can't it's just glass everywhere um i'm just gonna put this back in the box before it gets everywhere because i'm really you know if anything gets in my rug and i tread on it i'm not gonna be very happy um yeah that's a real shame I'm really sorry guys i wanted to leave it on a happy happy note but let's leave it on a happy happy note anyway we have got um you just witnessed me eating some bath product that's fantastic is it not i mean worth tuning in for really there's a nice art print um the money box is useful uh the gillyweed print i love um and i can probably get over the the red blotches um and sweeties i mean come on who doesn't like sweeties that's a good thing um the dagger is a very pretty thing um again i'm not sure about the tastefulness of that on it but it, it's an attractive thing make a nice bookmark wouldn't it so yeah that's nice um there's a couple of quizzes to do and uh, yeah so i mean there's good things in here it's just a lot of them got covered in red ashwinder eggs thing or whatever it was and some of them are broken like um like this yeah um but on that note guys <laughs> i'm gonna go and clear up this broken glass and make sure no one that comes to my house ends up damaged by it um but in the meantime i do have more boxes on the way and i'm hoping that when they turn up nothing is broken um Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, I am well on my way now to 100 subs. And like I mentioned before, I um, will be having a giveaway when I get to 100 subs. And I will be doing some of my own mystery boxes. And I promise you I will be packaging them to within an inch of their lives after this, definitely. Um, so uh, I, I'm thinking at the moment four of you lucky subscribers will have the chance to win uh, mystery boxes from me which will be full of wizarding wonders um, and I think a couple of things from this box will make their way into various boxes so guys on that note 
please 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 if you like this video or any of my other videos please subscribe to my channel i put out vlogs and unboxing videos um and i have a weird life and i would love for you to come with me on my weird journey um but in the meantime thank you so much for watching please subscribe please share with your friends and uh, i will see you in the next see you later guys bye